Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. More than 900 troopers participate in the SOAR program, which is designed to pay eight hours of overtime a week to crack down on speeders or help stranded motorists. Internal investigators at the patrol chose the top three SOAR earners in each district. Of the 36 cases reviewed, three were fired, four retired, three were suspended, one was reprimanded, and another is facing termination after claiming overtime for working from home or while eating. Some were sitting at their houses longer and it was a continuous issue, then they were disciplined more than, you know, the ones that just went to the restaurants for a few minutes or whatever. So it was based on what their egregious activities were on the program. Troopers were cited for turning off their automatic locating devices or failing to call in when they were taking dinner breaks. The Police Benevolent Association says it won't talk about the troopers in this report because it doesn't talk about pending litigation. Attorney Sid Matthew represents two of the 12 being disciplined. He says both were following long-standing, unwritten rules and that no one was goofing off on the state's dime. They paid overtime for 20 years for meal breaks. And now, all of a sudden, uh, they, they're changing their policy. The Highway Patrol says the actions taken will not impact increased presence on the highways this weekend. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilenda.